Hi, uh, my name is Basir. In this video, we'll learn chapter 4, Pair of Linear Equations in Two Variables from Class 10, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana State Board Syllabus. Let me write down a linear equation in two variables for you. Let's say I write down something like this, 3x plus 4y is equal to 5. This is a linear equation because the degree of this equation is 1. What's the power of x here? Nothing, so it's 1. The power of y is 1 here, so the degree of this equation is 1. And how many variables do you have in this equation? You have two variables, x and y. So x is one variable, y is the second variable. So you have two variables here and the degree of this equation is 1. That is the reason we call it linear equation. If the degree of the equation is 1, then it becomes a linear equation and you have two variables here. So this is a linear equation in two variables. The general form of a linear equation in two variables is ax plus by is plus c is equal to 0, where a, b and c can be, can be any number. Let's say uh, a can be 2, b can be 3, c can be 5. So this becomes a linear equation 2x plus 3y plus 5 is equal to 0 is obviously a linear equation in two variables now uh, let us consider a situation here um, Siri went with her father to a bookshop to purchase some notebooks and pens let's say let's say she bought three notebooks let's say she bought three notebooks and two pens and her father paid 80 rupees to the book uh, to the to the shopkeeper her friend lakshmi liked the notebooks and pens so she too went with her father to the bookshop and purchased four notebooks and three pens for 110 rupees rubina and joseph they too liked the notebooks and pens. Um, Rubina and Joseph, they wanted to know the cost of one pen and the cost of one notebook. But Siri and uh, Lakshmi, they could not, they, they really did not, knew, did not know the cost of notebook and pen. How do we find out the cost of notebook and pen in this case? Let's say we consider the first scenario here where... Uh, Siri purchased three notebooks and two pens for 80 rupees. Um, Rubina, she guessed that the cost of the notebook could be 20 rupees. Um, and the cost of one pen could be 10 rupees. That's how the total would be 80 rupees. 3 into 20 is 60. So the cost of three notebooks is 60 here. 2 into 10 is 20. The cost of two pens here is 20. 60 plus 20 is 80. That was the guess made by Rubina. So she guessed that the cost of the notebook is 20 rupees and the cost of the pen is 10 rupees. But Joseph, Joseph, he disagreed. He told that no, 10 rupees, 10 rupee cost for a pen is too high. Um, no, the, the cost of the pen could just be 2 rupees 50 paise. So 2 into 2.5 is 5. So the cost of 2 pens here is 5 rupees. And the cost of 3 notebooks could be 75 rupees. That's how the total becomes 80 rupees. That's what Joseph said. So this is one other situation here. The, as per Joseph, uh, the cost is 25 rupees. The cost of one notebook is 25 rupees. And the cost of one pen is two rupees fifty paise, but I can tell you that you know there, there could be one more solution to this equation. I can keep the cost of notebook as sixteen rupees. Three into sixteen is forty-eight, so the cost of three notebooks would be forty-eight rupees. And if I say that the cost of one pen is sixteen rupees, two into sixteen is thirty-two, so the cost of two pens would be thirty-two rupees. Cost of three notebooks is 48. Cost of two pens is 32 rupees. 48 plus 32 is obviously 80, right? 
So I would assume that the cost of pen is 16. The cost of pen is 16 rupees and the cost of notebook is also 16 rupees. So, so what do you observe here? You observe that if we consider just one situation, one situation of Siri here, where she, where she purchased three notebooks and two uh, pens for the cost of 80 rupees, there can be multiple solutions to this equation. If, if we consider just one equation, there can be multiple solutions here. Rubina is getting the solution as 20 and 10. The cost of notebook is 20. The cost of pen is 10. Joseph is getting the cost, uh, uh, guessing that the cost could be 25 rupees for a notebook and 2 rupees 50 paise for a pen. And I am guessing that the cost of a notebook could be 16 rupees and the cost of one pen could be 16 rupees again. What is Which answer is correct here? Which answer is correct here? Is this the correct one or is this the correct one or is this the correct one? So we see that if we uh, just consider series case, we get multiple solutions. Now, if we consider, let, let, let us say the cost of, let the cost of notebook here is X rupees and let us say uh, the cost of pen is y rupees so what would be the equation here in in place of notebook i'm writing x in place of pen i'm writing y so the cost of notebook here is x so the cost of three notebooks will be three into x three x cost of pen here is y the cost of two pens would be two into y two y is equal to 80 this is one equation and if i consider uh, uh, Lakshmi's case, I'll get one more equation 4x plus 3y is equal to 110. This x and y here, this x and this y are known as unknowns, are known as unknowns because I don't know the value of x and y here. I don't know the value of x and y. So you have to understand that if we have two unknowns and just one equation, we'll get, we'll obviously get multiple solutions. Just, just just as we looked a little while ago we'll get multiple solutions if we have two unknowns and one only one equation so what you really need to do is if you have two unknowns you would need two equations if you have two unknowns you will need two equations to get a unique solution to get get one solution you will need two equations likewise if you have three unknowns let's say you have three unknowns x y and z how many equations you would need to get one solution to this? You would get, you would need three equations. Here I have two unknowns. So I'll need, I will need two equations to get a unique solution for this. Let's see here. Uh, just for uh, visual representation, uh, let us draw a box here. I'll draw one more box here because I would like to consider both the situations. Previously, when I considered only one situation, uh, one equation, one situation of Siri, I ended up getting multiple solutions. So I'm going to consider both the situations here. Let me shade the pen. Let, let's say, um, let us say I shade the box with the pens with green color or else let, let me say I shade the box with the notebooks as green color so this is a notebook I'm representing dating it um, here by shading it in green color and pen I'll I'll just keep it blank take it pen I'll, I'll just keep it blank just like this So how many how many uh, how many notebooks do you have in the first case? You have three notebooks, right? Three notebooks. Okay. So that's my first notebook, and that is my second notebook, and that's my third notebook. So I have three notebooks, and I have two pens. Pen. Let's say this is. Um, this is 
this this box represents one pen and this box represents the second pen and what is the total amount that series father paid he to paid a total amount of 80 rupees so i'll i'll just write down here they purchased two notebooks sorry three notebooks three notebooks these three boxes shaded with green color represents notebooks and they purchased two pens these two boxes <coughs> without without you know without any color shade they represent two pens the cost of three notebooks plus two pens is 80 rupees in the same way let us sh let let me shade uh, the second box for you in second situation rubina purchased four notebooks and three pens right one two three four four notebooks and three pens one two three i'm shading again um the notebooks the box for the notebooks with green color here so one two three four four notebooks and three pens i'm not shading anything for for the box that represents a pen <coughs> so what do i have here uh, we have four notebooks and we have three pens for the cost of 110 rupees just for re visual representation i have represented these two situations uh, in the form of a box here three notebooks and two pens cost 80 rupees four notebooks and three pens they cost 110 rupees now looking at the box can you guess how what would be the cost of a notebook or what would be the cost of a pen no you cannot for that you should at least ha uh, equate make one of the quantity equal i have three notebooks and two pens here i have four notebooks and three pens here what i can do is if i multiply the first situation with three two into three is six so i'll get six pens here and if i multiply three with two three, three into two is six so i'll get six pens here if in both the cases the number of pens are equal then i can at least make a guess and, and find out the uh, cost of a notebook and the cost of a pen so you multiply the first situa situation by 3 and we multiply the second one by 2 why because 2 into 3 is 6 it becomes 6 pens here 3 into 2 is 6 it becomes 6 pens so if the number of pens in both the cases are equal I can make a guess and find out the number of notebooks and the number of pens okay so I have multiplied this first situation with the number three and i have multiplied the second situation with the number two <clears throat> why because i wanted to make uh, the number of pens equal in both the cases two if i multiply it by three two into three is six three if i multiply it, it by two three into two is six so the number of pens in both situations will become six right so that's the reason i have multiplied the first situation by the number three and the second situation here by the number two now what really happens 3 into 3 3 into 3 is 9 so we have 9 notebooks now 2 into 3 is 6 and we have 6 pens <coughs> costing how much 80 into 3 is how much 240 costing 240 rupees the cost of 9 notebooks and 6 pens is 240 rupees let's see the second situation 4 into 2 4 into 2 is 8 we now have 8 notebooks 3 into 2 is 6 we have 6 pens costing how much 110 into 2 is 220 so what 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 really do you observe here you see that we have six pens in both the cases uh, the cost of nine notebooks and six pens is 240 rupees cost of nine notebooks and six pens is 240 rupees the cost of eight notebooks and six pens is 220 rupees cost of uh, the number of pens in both the cases are equal cost of nine notebooks and six pens is 240 rupees and here for eight notebooks six pens we are paying 220 rupees so if you see here we have purchased one book extra in the first case right and for purchasing here we have purchased eight books and here we have purchased nine books for purchasing one extra book we are paying 20 rupees more the cost here is 220 the cost here is 240 so what is the difference 
two forty minus two twenty is twenty rupees. And and what is the difference in the quantity here? The number of pens are same. Just one notebook is more in the first situation. Here in the second situation you have eight notebooks. In the first situation you have nine notebooks. So for just one extra notebook, this guy in the first situation is paying twenty rupees more. What does it mean? It means that the cost of notebook should be twenty rupees, right? Cost of notebook should be twenty rupees. Now let us see here. If the cost of notebook is twenty rupees, if the cost of notebook is twenty rupees, three into twenty is sixty. Sixty plus twenty should be eighty rupees, right? So the cost of two pens is twenty rupees. Then the cost of one pen should be ten rupees. That's how you get a unique solution if you consider two situations. The rest of the videos of this chapter will soon be available on our website, which is the Seer Academy dot com. Most of the times, I see that uh, you know most of the students they comment me on YouTube asking for help. Um, but but you know um, I believe the best way of asking help would be to log on to Basir Academy dot com and then use the live chat feature. You have the live chat feature. Use the chat uh, box that you see there to interact with me. That way I'll be able to help you more promptly and more effectively, right? And 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 just I said you a while ago, the rest of the videos of this chapter would soon be available on, on Basir Academy dot com. Um, I hope this lecture helped you. If you have any questions or concerns, please get back to me. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.